Hello my young friends, Diwali is over and I hope all of you had a really good time. Yes, there is Bhai Dooj today and Chhat Puja next week but by and large, I think it's time to do a Ghar Vapsi to the world of books. Return to your books, press the reset button as far as your academic life is concerned because there is just about what, two to three weeks between now and when the examination starts depending on whether you are a class 12 or a class 10 student. So this video is specifically about what you should do and not do between now and the examination dates. But before we start, it gives me great pleasure to talk about the wonderful response to our biology and chemistry live revision classes on the Study with Sudhir app. I must say and I must compliment the fantastic group of absolutely committed students we have got there in the two courses. So thank you very much for your support and helping us help you. The third course to complete the science trilogy, the physics live revision course starts on the 7th of November. This is for ICSC class 10 students. All our faculty members, I must say, without a doubt, are absolutely fantastic. And we are confident that under their guidance, you will do very well in the term one board examinations. So enroll right away so that you are there right from class 1. We really do not have a moment to waste now. Class uh, 10 ICSC biology and chemistry classes, all the recordings, notes, everything are there. Uh, doubt solving is taking place on the chat and in classes. So for all these three courses, physics, chemistry and biology, your one-stop destination has to be, must be, should be study with Sudhir. So coming back to what you should do and not do, five broad points. MCQs, remember, are about understanding. They are not about rote learning. So if you are the kind of student who is still following the old practice of mugging up things, you need to change that approach at least right now. Focus on understanding. That has to be your mantra. Aapko samajh mein aana chahiye because most of the questions will be about how well you have understood a particular topic, a particular concept. So please remember this, this will do you a lot of good. Point number two, now you may ask that what about recall questions? Yes, especially in history, especially in English literature, there will be questions which will test your recall ability. Now that's where the crisp notes like the ones we have given for history as part of the century batch will really help. You need to kind of look at notes and understand okay this is what it really meant and this is what will be the understanding as far as subjects like civics is concerned. In English please ensure that you remain faithful to the text. Read the text multiple number of times and then you ensure especially with poems and also with Merchant of Venice that you understand each and every sentence very well. Okay. Now point number three there is a tendency among students to look at the CBSE specimen papers and among the CBSE students look at the ICSE specimen papers and then kind of get confused as to what kind of MCQs will really be asked. Please look at your specific board specimen paper. There is a reason why it is called a specimen paper, a sample paper, right? In fact, if you see our English language test papers, we have remained very faithful to the kind of specimen paper that has been put out. Even our comprehension passages are of the same kind so that you get the same kind of practice as has been prescribed in the specimen paper. So please ensure that you select the right kind of test papers in order to test your preparation level before the examination. You need to have the right kind of material and resource to test yourself with. That's very important. Point number four in subjects like mathematics and physics, time yourself to check how much time you are taking on each question. Right? It should not be the case that you spend too much time solving a particular sum or kind of solving a particular numerical. So you need to time yourself, especially in these two subjects. Right? Even in a subject like perhaps Hindi, you need to test yourself in terms of time. If there are shortcuts to be learned, especially with maths and physics, learn them. But speed will be of essence. Remember that you are going to get only one mark for the correct answer. Steps are not uh, relevant anymore in this kind of a format. Last point, if you think you are finding it difficult to remember a particular concept or topic, a good way to do that will be to explain it to your friend who may be having difficulty in understanding that. 
that will help him in understanding it from you it will help you in revising that particular topic so in that sense it will help both of you but do that only till about the 15th of 16th after the 15th of 16th of the month all the time should be your time alone okay so in the next one week you could do this kind of a re revision wherein you help someone else or if you are finding it difficult to understand something ask your friend your best friend your classmate who understands that particular topic well to explain it to you it will help him or her it will help you also in the bargain so stay tuned to study with Sudhir over the next two three weeks we are going to do a lot of revision on the channel itself so that it helps a large number of students right and as far as the study with Sudhir app is concerned the courses are all there for you so that it helps you in achieving what you really are wanting to a 40 on 40 in each one of those papers. Thank you very much for watching. Great revision to you. Happy learning.